Welcome back guys and we're back again with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to download and uh, upload onto your server a custom map. So with that let's head over to our multicraft control panel. So once we're on our multicraft control panel we're just going to want to make sure that we know our version. So for me I've got Spigot 1.16.4 um, but however you might be running a different one just make sure that the map that you download will correspond to the version that you're running. Usually uh, 1.16 versions work for 1.16 and above, um, e.g. if you're doing 1.16.1 .1, it tends to work on most 1.16 versions. Not all the time, but it's just something that I've noticed in general. So once on Planet Minecraft, just head over to the maps section here and then just find a map that will suit you. So I've just searched 1.16 to find one that will work with my version and we found the Minecraft's Stinging Mantis. Um, of course we'll credit the user, or the creator sorry, Mushroom Soup. Um, and if you do want to check it out, just come onto Minecraft to check out his map. So we're just going to hit download Minecraft map here, and then it's going to start downloading. If it does take you to another site, um, most usually what it will have is on the top right of the section, it will have a little countdown from 5 to 0, and then it will come up with a skip file, and you don't really want to click. If it looks like a huge add page, don't click on anything on the page, just wait for the skip and then it will download. However, for us it's downloaded straight away, so we're just going to move this folder over to the desktop. Um, for show in folder, I'll just copy this over to our desktop and then we'll have the file here ready to use. Right now that we have our file, we need to actually look into it to see what it has. So if we open it up, this is what we want to see. Um, you know, the advancements, data, data packs, DMI1, DMI1 again, and all this stuff. So if it looks like this, perfect. So if you open yours up and it looks a little bit different, it might have different packs within it, such as resource packs, skins, and stuff like that. Just have a look for the actual folder. So if you look on saves here, you can see it's got the actual name of the map. Double click on there, and there we go. We got all the actual files that we needed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a folder, and we're going to call it what we want to call it. So for this one, I'm just going to call it new map without any spaces i'm going to open up uh, our zipped folder here uh, come down to these files highlight them all and then i'm going to drag and drop them into the new map once that's all done you should find all of the folders in here and the folder name is new map so before we start transferring any files over you're going to want to stop your server just to make sure none of the files get corrupted and for this we're going to be using filezilla if you haven't used this before just check out our video on the server tutorials and you'll be able to connect up really easily using your ftp file information so once you've logged in successfully onto filezilla with your server after you put your host username password and port information and um, you're going to see all the server files on here you'll probably Probably also have a server file um, with the name of the world that you currently have. Uh, I've just deleted it off of mine. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to head over to the left, which is your desktop files. Or for mine, since I've selected desktop, so all my files are there. And as you can see, we've got new map in its folder there. All you're going to do is simply drag it over. And once it's all uploaded, you'll get a neat little message on the bottom right saying uh, transfers finished. So that's all done now and we can come out of FileZilla. So I've got new map here because that's what I saved the folder as. Of course, if you've saved the folder here as something else, then you rename it to that and you've got to write it exactly. So that's exactly that's how it's going to find your world file. So now I've typed in world map. I'm going to hit save to actually save that world on before I start the server. Once you've got your little server settings saved message displayed there, you're going to start your server back up again. Now, if I'd have started my server back up and I didn't change the world to the new world, um, it would have just opened the file of the world that I've already um, that I've inputted here. However, so it won't be deleting it. You will have the new map inside of your files. However, you haven't accessed it yet, so you haven't opened it up on your server. All you've got to do is make sure that you put the correct name of the world file there save it and then start your server back up and you'll open up that particular world so we can see the tick has come up on the server now which means it is now open so let's load up into minecraft head on over to the test server and um, let's go check it out so we've loaded into minecraft and here we have our new map of course this isn't a whole complete map this was uh, more of something in a map um, however very cool and you can do this with full maps um, or just small ones with little buildings either way as long as you download the right files it is going to upload to your server once you've selected that world name once you've checked all of that works um, I would keep this folder that you've renamed and you can go ahead and delete the old zip folder because you don't really need that anymore if you're not running a plugin such as multiverse core and you just have a few different maps on your server as I said before just to load them up you just change the name so if I had another map called um, new map 2 I'd simply put new map 2 
save the settings, restart the server, and then it would start up on that world. So thanks for watching, guys. If you yourself are after a Minecraft server, don't forget to check out seekerhost.co. They've got some awesome packages here with great gameplay, and they've got a 25% off your first game server at the moment. And for more videos like this, of course, you can check my channel and the server tutorials on the Seekerhost website. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.